You don't need sketchy software to move and run your games off a new or a different hard drive. I'm going to show you step by step how to transfer and play your games off any internal or external hard drive you want. And I'm going to cover Steam, Blizzard's Battle.net, the Epic Game Store, Origin, and Ubisoft's Uplay. Hey there tech boys and girls! Like I said in the intro, going to be covering all the major gaming platforms, where to find the original file location for all the games that you want to transfer, transferring and copying those game files to the new hard drive, and easily maneuvering all these files and folders with my guide. At the end I'm going to be covering some organizational tips, some software to help you do that, and uh, keeping a backup of your games. Also, I'm going to put some time codes up here with the logo each uh, to jump ahead to maybe if you're looking for one specific platform, so you can jump ahead to that now. So let's start with Steam. It's a little complicated, but easy and quick if you follow these steps. The default location of your games is going to be the C drive, to program files times 86, to Steam, to Steam apps, to common, and there should be all your games. I want to make a folder in the new hard drive and let's just call it Steam. I'm going to take the game folder from our old hard drive and copy it into this new folder I just made. Once it's done copying, I'm going to check the file size and make sure it's all there. Then I'm going to delete the file we just copied from the old hard drive. For me, that's Dark Souls 3 here. Doing this, we can make sure that we are running the game off of the new file location. So as we can see, it doesn't work. Then we're going to go into Settings, then Downloads, then Steam Library Folders, and then here we're going to add the new library folders. In the drop-down menu, we select the Target folder, which for me is going to be the F drive. Select Steam and press New Folder, then press OK. Steam actually has to make a new folder for itself. So close it out and restart Steam. As you can see, Dark Souls is trying to download again. If your games start downloading, stop the download and uninstall it. Then we take our game and move it to the new spot, which is Steam Library to Steam Apps to Common. Now go to install your game. And in the drop down menu, select the folder you just created. And boom, Steam locates and matches the files and we can play. And with any of these platforms, if the game isn't updated or current, the app will update automatically after locating the game. Next is going to be World of Warcraft and Overwatch people with Blizzard's Battle.net. Probably the easiest app to transfer and run your games. Your Battle.net games are going to be located in the C drive to Program Files times 86. They're actually just inside this large folder, so just look for the game name and it's going to have a folder somewhere in this big folder around all the other apps and stuff. So we're going to go find Overwatch and then we're going to make a Blizzard folder in our new hard drive. Then we're just going to copy the game over to the new Blizzard folder that we just created in our new hard drive. Now nah, we'll grab Hearthstone too, why not? Delete the game folder from the hard drive you just copied from. And yep, can't play it, so let's locate the new folder. Go right next to the install button and press locate the game and over to the desired hard drive. Go into our Blizzard folder that we created and select our game and press select folder. And that's it, we're ready to pwn some scrubs in some Overwatch. Time to move Fortnite over using the Epic Game Store. You're gonna find Fortnite in the C drive, to Program Files, to Epic Games, and there she is. We're gonna make an Epic folder to stay nice and organized, then copy Fortnite's folder over to our Epic folder. Delete our old Fortnite folder from the C drive, Go back to the Epic Game Store and press the Settings button on the game and click Uninstall. From there, we're going to press Control alt delete to bring up Task Manager, select the Epic Game Store, and then End Task. Then you want to open back up Epic Game Store, go to your library, and install your game. Browse to our new folder location. So that's going to be the F drive for me. Then I'm going to go to the Epic folder we made and press Select Folder. But uh-oh, it says Directory Folder must be empty. So let's fix that. So go ahead and cancel that, and we're actually going to take the Fortnite folder and just move it up one and put it in the F's main folder for just a second. So we're going to go back into the Epic Game Store, press install on the game we want, find our hard drive, and then the Epic folder that we made, and select folder. Then just press install. So it's going to go ahead and start the download, and I always wait for it to hit 1 or 2% to put a couple files in it. Then we're going to pause the install and go open up the Epic folder that we had created. Go into the Fortnite folder, and remember this is the one that's trying to download. And let's replace the downloading game folder with our full game. 
So grab everything that's inside the Fortnite folder that has the full game in it and move it over to the Epic folder that we had created that has the downloading version in it. So go back to the Epic Game Store, pause the download for the game, and then just hit resume and boom. It's gonna verify all the files and now we're in and we're playing. You might ask why I showed the folder mishap when creating the new location earlier. I left that to show that problems can always pop up in these processes, so be prepared to be creative and work through it. Anyways, that was a really long one. Let's do some easy ones. Origin is easy, but some parts take time to load in. Regardless, let's move Apex Legends over and play it good. You'll find your game files in the C drive to program files times 86 to origin games, and then there they are. Let's go ahead and make our origin folder in our new hard drive. Copy Apex over to our new origin folder. Delete the old Apex folder. So we're gonna go into the origin launcher and at the top select origin, then press application settings. Go over to install and saves. Then select change folder from the game library location. There, we're gonna go to our chosen new hard drive and proceed to the origin folder we made. Press select folder and then press close on the prompt. Go back to my game library. Select your game and press download. Accept it. And make sure that your install location is your new hard drive, then press next. And that's it. Now this is the part that can actually take a while, but it runs through finalizing and then you can play. Last and probably not least is Ubisoft's Uplay for all you Far Cry 5 and Division 2 fans. You can find all your games in the C drive, to Program Files times 86, to Ubisoft, to Ubisoft Game Launcher, to Games, and finally there's Division 2 and all your games. Again, we're going to make a new folder called Ubisoft in our new hard drive. Then we're going to take Division 2 or whatever game you want and copy the full game folder over to the Ubisoft folder we just made. Delete our old Division 2 game file. Then we're gonna go back to the Uplay launcher. And in the top left, we're gonna press the three little lines and go down to settings. And on the left, go into downloads and from there, press change. In the dropdown, select this PC. Then go all the way down until you see your new hard drive. Press the little arrow and there you're gonna see your Ubisoft folder. Press okay once you have that selected. Then go back to games and select the game. So you press play and it's gonna tell you that you're unable to. So from within this window, press Located Game Folder, and again, just click the arrow next to this PC, go down to your new hard drive and the Ubisoft folder you created. Then it's gonna automatically start discovering your files, and when it's done, press Close. And now you're free to play Division 2 on whatever hard drive. And you can do that on every single platform because I covered every single one. And it was supposed to be such a short, easy process. It was supposed to be a quick little video, you know? Knock it out, good to go. And it took forever. <laughs> and as for those quick tips, get yourself some software like Space Sniffer. It's free, which is great, and it can help tell you where your games are and how much room all your files are taking up within your system. I really love this program. I recommend it to everyone. And also, obviously, you don't have to use my exact file system. It's just something I've used for years, keeps me really nice and organized, and whenever I do want to create that backup of my games uh, on my external hard drive or wherever, it's really easy to just drag everything over to my game copy folder that's in there, and it just copies everything. Everything is nice and organized. It's just concise, easy, and has worked for me forever. I want to thank everyone a ton for watching. To the people that uh, this is their first time here, they just wanted to hop in and get some info from you know the transferring the games. Uh, I hope you got what you were looking for. I hope I helped you in some way. Uh, I have a ton of content, a lot of fun stuff that I like to do. So feel free to go check that out. If you like any of it or you learn anything from this video, please subscribe. I'm having a fun time, glad you're here. And for all my returning subscribers, uh, you guys are awesome. I'm having so much fun. You guys have made this experience just so awesome. I love all the kind words that everyone says. I've got, you know, lots of extra stuff coming out. Uh, my stuff's gonna be coming out even quicker. I've got all of it laid out. Hopefully gonna go up to two times a week, three times a week. And then whenever Ryzen drops, gonna be just, I mean, absolutely throwing stuff out there like crazy. So thank you guys for watching so much. Love you.